Oh my gosh. <clears throat> the sun's out. It's early in the morning. Phoenix is going to school and we won't see him until next Wednesday. No! Grr. Okay. Are you ready for school? Yeah. All right. I'm ready for work. <laughs> All right, no. I think today is the first day that I've really turned the heat on in Dobby because it's cold outside. <laughs> There's actually not ice on the window, but there was um, dew on the window. Ew. Yeah, ew, dew. So, um, that's it, buddy. We'll see you in a week. We will miss you. We love you. Do good. Have fun. Good attitude. Do what you're supposed to. Be a good human. Okay? I can't hear you. Okay. I can't hear you. Okay. All right. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. On my way to pick up parts for the first job, and what do we see here? We see somebody, um, a, uh, uh, I, I want to say a civil employee, but um, they were spraying the side of the pole because it was tagged. And I can't tell if he's like painting over it or if that's a part of the tag. I don't know. Now he's picking up garbage. But before, when I started filming, he was using the wand to spray. So I can't tell if he was using a type of cleaner to uh, clean off the spray paint or if he was using paint to try and paint over it. It's sad, but it happens. And it's Lakewood. All of these parts need to go onto this car right here. So, I am going to douse myself with a sunscreen because it's sunny <laughs> and we're gonna get it done. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 this is nasty. This is what I showed you guys the other day. Wheel cylinder, the internal seal actually just blew out of it crazy and got brake fluid all over the place so here's the before and that's all the new stuff this is after I know it doesn't look like it's that good but we have new shoes new hardware which are the springs uh, old uh, adjustment bar here new wheel cylinder same old backing plate and there we go gotta put this on adjust it bleed it out the side done <laughs> this side is done and then we move on to the other side all right, side two and the sun is beginning to cast its beams upon me. Oh, this is called a uh, impact driver. So you don't use like a, just a Phillips to try and get these out. You will strip them. So tap it straight in the first time, turn a little bit and hold and bam, just like that. One more time on the bottom side. You want to set your bit into as far in as it'll go. That's that. And then, oh, that one there was, that was pretty easy. Excellent. That comes off. This comes off. And then maybe the drum will come off. Oh. And uh, your brake shoe isn't supposed to come off like that. You know, just, just to let you guys know. Right. Rear brakes are done. I was not able to take it on a test drive. Oh my gosh, they've got a ghoul up there. That's awesome. I was not able to take it on a test drive because I started the engine and there was much metallic noise going on. So I shut it off really quickly and uh, checked the oil level and there's no oil on the dipstick. I didn't bring, there's a fly in here. Gross. I didn't bring any um, oil with me, so I, there you go, bye fly. So I gave him instructions on what to do, how to fill it. So let's get out of here and let's look at that ghoul I just saw. That's pretty neat. It's over there on the left. See it flying right there? Oh, and this guy's got pumpkins. Look at that. Pumpkins and a ghoul. Woohoo! I am going to uh, see what's going on with this person's vehicle.
one hour later. And that's how that goes. Well, as I enter uh, this traffic jam, I'll let you guys uh, know kind of uh, what went on with this. So, no matter if you own your own business or if you just work for somebody, there's always going to be drama with customers. When you work for a uh, low volume, or when you work for yourself and you're low volume, then fortunately you can kind of pick and choose your customers. And unfortunately, uh, this is one that I'm not going to do work for again. Uh, last night, uh, so this is the one that I did the power steering hose for yesterday. And at the end of the day, I, you know, I'm burping the uh, the power steering system, getting all the air out of it. And uh, the car's not starting right. I didn't start it when I got there, before I started the work, or before I began the work, I didn't try starting the car. So I honestly couldn't remember how it started the other day. So I get in and start it, and there's a little bit of excessive crank time, and then it starts. I'm like, huh, well that's kind of weird. So when I hand her the keys after everything is said and done, I let her know that um, you know maybe you could uh, get a diagnostic, or if you need to at some point, get a diagnostic, and uh, I can let you know what's going on, the reason why it's not starting uh, right away. And she's like, huh? And I'm like, yeah, it's not starting right away. And she's like, oh, that's funny, it's never done that before. And just the demeanor was off-putting. So I go and get the work done, I bill out, I leave. Just after eight o'clock last night, I get this text message. This text message reads, and I quote, what did you do to my car? Now it has trouble starting and the check engine light is on. And then 15 minutes later, and there's a rattle in reverse. Seriously? That's what she texts me, and I'm like, all right. In my eyes, there are much better ways to handle that. And to give a little backstory on this, let's call her Karen. <laughs> um, a little backstory. Uh, she has a problem, it seems, in my eyes, with everybody. And uh, whenever you are, when you're an automotive technician and you go and you work on somebody else's car and they instantly start saying, yeah, the guy that worked on it before was a complete idiot. He didn't know what he was doing and I'm thinking about taking him through court and stuff. Right then and there, it's kind of like, whoa, okay. I have to watch my P's and Q's because if something happens that you don't understand, then you're gonna wanna take me through court. So th there's, a, there's a fine line there about how to handle situations like that from both parties. Anyway, I diligently uh, told her this morning, I said, good morning. I have a job this morning that will bring me into the afternoon, but I can uh, recheck everything this afternoon, basically is what I said. Let me know if that works, thank you. She says, how much will that cost? Now, of course I'm putting some voice inflection in there because I know the customer. And I said, it's not gonna cost you anything. It's a free recheck. I stand behind what I do, although I'd wanted to say much more. And then she said, okay, that works. And then I let her know I was going there. So I show up and uh, she's just like, yeah, and it wasn't doing that before. And just like, oh my gosh. It's like, okay, please just stop. Just let me check it out and I'll see what it was. And it was my fault. There's a sensor called a throttle position sensor. I had unplugged it so I could get my hand down to the, uh, the rack and pinion, I had to go from up above. I didn't want to break the sensor or tug on the wiring, so I disconnected it. I had disconnected two sensors, and when I put everything back together, inadvertently I forgot to connect it. So I reconnected it, cleared the computer trouble codes, and it starts just fine. Her other thing about a vibration, her bumper up front is like totally coming apart, and there's nothing I can do about that. It's like, yeah, your bumper's coming apart. And she says, yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, and then she says, well, that's gonna give you, get you 30 lashings or something like that. And I'm like, okay. And she said, you've never heard that term before? And I'm like, nope. And at this moment, I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm done. So I say, yep, uh, she's all done. Um, I let her know what was going on. And I gave her the receipt and said, thank you. And I turned around and left. And if she asks me in the future for an appointment, I'll say, I'm sorry, but I'm going to decline service at this time.
That's how that works. <sighs> okay, even though I was in the wrong, or it was my fault, my mistake, I overlooked something, I still went out there for free. I didn't charge her. How could I? I'm doing the right thing, but the way that she handled it, I've used this analogy before. It's kind of like bringing your favorite meal in a restaurant, bringing it served to you on a trash can lid. It's all about the presentation. So remember that. It's all about the presentation. Okay, so uh, with that being said, we're done for the day. I gotta get some paperwork done. It is 2.52 in the afternoon, and uh, we'll see what kind of other trouble I can get myself into. All right, Angie, oh, look at this. Angie and I are quickly trying to prepare for, for the dogs barking. And look, they're back. Where are we going? We're going to the park. They're back! <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey! You're back! Oh, monkey! So we're all walking down to, uh, down to the park. I'm not sure we're going to get a view of the mountain or not. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Raleigh motion's right here. Ah, there she is. Yeah, she's missing, she's missing snow this year too, from what she usually has. Quite a lot, actually. Wow. <laughs> what was that for? All right, so I just wanted to um, uh, give you guys like closure uh, with that customer and everything this afternoon. She texted me back later after I got home and said, just wanted to say thanks for coming out, and I'm sorry if my text offended you. I'll leave a nice review on your Facebook page, which she hasn't done yet, as an amends. To be honest, I didn't expect you to behave so responsibly. My bad. I seriously underestimated your professionalism and work ethic. I am sorry. So, post in the comments down below. Should I work on this customer's car again or should i say thanks next time i'll decline <sighs> the woes of being self-employed anyway so we have angie and we have buffy and they are back matt and laura <laughs> i'm so happy and we're, back oh. for, and we're back for good yes we're back for good oh i'm so happy we're moving to washington we're now washingtonians <laughs> Code is not so thrilled. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say my name. Hey, Coda. Yeah. Coda. Oh, what the? Hey, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. What's going on? <laughs> Poor baby. All right. So normally we would do COC, um, but I want to edit. And so because it, it feels like Friday, it feels like it should be the weekend right now. And it's not. I still have a work day ahead of me. So. Yeah. All right. Happy, Happy hauntings to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> what? Good night, huh? What? Food? <laughs>